A combined inequality is a sentence with two inequality symbols joined either by the word or or by the word and. So here's an example. Water is not in a liquid state if its temperature is above 100 degrees or if it's below 0 degrees. We are asked to write a combined inequality statement for the temperature T when water is not in a liquid state. So we know water is not in a liquid state if it is above 100 degrees. So if T is above 100 degrees, so T greater than 100 degrees, or T is below, so less than 0 degrees. So this is a combined inequality. It is a sentence with two inequality symbols. So we have one here and one there. And it is joined either by the word or or by the word and. Here it is joined by the word or. Representing this on the number line, T is greater than 100. So 100 is not included, but all temperatures greater than 100 are included. Or T is less than 0. So this is 0. 0 is not included, but all temperatures less than 0 are included. Because the word R is used to join these two inequalities, we want the union of our two solution sets. So representing this on the number line. So we want temperatures less than 0 or temperatures greater than 100. So this is what our solution set would look like on the number line. And to write our solution set, we would write that T is less than 0 or, and to represent the word or, we use the union symbol, T is greater than 100. Suppose you were asked to solve 2x plus 3 is less than minus 2 or 2x plus 3 is greater than 5. Now the word or is used to join these two inequality statements. This is called a disjunction. We must solve for values of x that make at least one of these statements true. So we'll just solve these now. Subtracting 3 from both sides of the inequality gives us this. And dividing both sides of the inequality by 2 gives that x is less than minus 5 over 2. Or subtracting 3 from both sides of the inequality gives us this. And dividing both sides of the inequality by 2 So we have that x is less than minus 5 over 2, or x is greater than 1. So representing this on the number line. So because the word or is used, we want the union of these two solution sets. So we have x is greater than 1, or x is less than minus 5 over 2. So this is our solution set. And we would write this as x less than minus 5 over 2. To represent the word r, we use the union symbol. x is greater than 1. So this means that any value that is less than minus 5 over 2 or greater than 1 if you substitute that value back into our original inequality statements, at least one of the statements should be true. And if you fill in a value that is not in either of these ranges, so a value between minus 5 over 2 and 1, well then it will not satisfy either of the two inequality statements. So we'll just check that we are correct. So we'll test the number x being equal to minus 3. 
Now this is part of our solution set, so it should work out to make at least one of the inequality statements true. So this will give minus 3 less than minus 2, or minus 3 is greater than 5. Now at least one of these must be true in order to satisfy our inequality statement. Minus 3 less than minus 2, this is true, or minus 3 is greater than 5. Now this is not true but at least one of our statements has been satisfied and so minus 3 is part of the solution. So now we'll test a value that is greater than 1. So we'll test the value x being equal to 2. So you should check this yourselves that when you have filled in x being equal to 2 into our original inequality statements, you get that 7 is less than minus 2 or 7 is greater than 5. Now 7 less than minus 2, this is not true. 7 greater than 5 is true. So at least one of our statements have been satisfied and so 2 is part of the solution. So now we'll check a number that is not part of the solution. So that would be, looking back up here to our number line, a number between minus 5 over 2 and 1. So we'll test the number 0. So you should check this yourselves and you will see that you get 3 less than minus 2 or 3 is greater than 5. Now 3 less than minus 2, this is not true, or 3 is greater than 5 and this is not true either. So we have failed to satisfy at least one of the inequality statements and therefore 0, which is the number we checked, is not part of the solution as we expected.